well, yeah, we, we, we did actually, we were born in Grafton and we did, we did go to Grafton Primary for, well, it's Grafton Infant School, I think. I went there for one and a half years. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't, I never graduated primary school. No, no, no. No, we, we, moved, we moved away after that and... How long were you there? Um, I was there till I was seven, so, yeah, yeah not very long. Not very yeah. long. We, we, when we started the band, we kind of figured like that was one of the few things we had in common because like, you know, other than having the same parents and the same sister, like being brothers, you have like nothing in common, like you have to be total opposites. So we figured that like, yeah, that was like the one thing we had in common. So as, as time's gone on, there's been more things in common, but that, that was all we had at the time. So. <laughs> So like yeah, so like you know, 70s rock. Like obviously, we, we kind of mostly grew up in the 80s. So um, you know, lots of obviously all the synth, synth in influences of the 80s. And like I think uh, in the 90s, like going through all the kind of you know techno dance music kind of era and all the influences from like Europe and you know like the rest of the world. So I don't know. We, we kind of pick it up from everywhere, but uh, we slowly kind of developed our own thing. So yeah, it seems, seems to work for people. So. Uh, well, when we were left, we were only we were only kind of six, uh, so I, I didn't see too many. There was, there was maybe like a school fate, like that before was, I left. There was the Jackaranda Festival. Yeah, Forgot yeah. about that one. We, we checked out a bit of the Jacker before we left, but um, only only a little bit. I, I remember with the jacarandas like picking them up and you'd like blow on the trumpet end and you'd hold the other end and like pop them. That's what we used to do on the way to school. That's like one of my Graftonian memories. So yeah, but yeah, no, obviously like it's a it's a huge deal. Like it's it's a big deal everywhere. But I think out here, like you know, it kind of brings people together a lot more. It's not just like a throwaway kind of day. Like oh, I could go here, but I could go there. It's like yeah, let's go. You know. So yeah. <laughs> Um, we're sort of we're working on another album at the moment, so um, yeah, I, I guess we're probably we've sort of finished this tour now, and we're gonna go in back in the studio and do some more writing. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, like nose to the grindstone, back in the studio, like doing doing a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully get the album out, you know, sometime uh, next year. Hopefully in the early part. Fingers crossed. We're not making promises, but we will try to get it out as as soon as we can. And um, yeah, keep keep doing more gigs. Um, I think the most important advice is like you obviously you got to have like influences, so like bands you admire, but like you know you got to put yourself into the music and like like you know be be who you are like on stage and and in your music like you know. Uh, you have influence, but try not to imitate. Just be yourself, because ultimately, like that's what people relate to. And you can't, you can't get up on stage and, and sing if you're not being yourself. So, or perform, or play keys, or whatever you do. So, yeah, it's the best advice I can give. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd probably agree with that. Just, yeah, you have to do what comes naturally to you. You can't force being something that you're not. Yeah, yeah. But then you, you know, you can be anything, and you can be so many different things. So, you know, keep keep the music diverse. Keep people diverse. It's you know what life's about so thank, thanks yeah. for having us it's, it means a lot to you guys come to talk to us so yeah <laughs>